Hey everybody, welcome to SeniorGolfSource.com. My name is Brett and today I'd like to really talk about a position in the golf swing that pretty much all good iron ball strikers share in common. And what that position is called is extension. As you're swinging through impact, what all great ball strikers have in common. Now if we go back in to the heyday of Johnny Miller. Hopefully I'm speaking to a couple of you folks there. Johnny Miller, hands down for me, is he's one of the best ball strikers to ever step on the golf course. Um, some people like his commentation that he was when he was a broadcaster, and some people didn't. So regardless of your opinion on whether you like Johnny Miller or not, we can't deny that he was an exceptional ball striker with the irons. And what we're gonna to talk today is what he was really good at is getting to full extension through impact. In my days of an ex as an instructor, there's a lot of times where we'll see that, that lead elbow kind of bend. You know, you've got the, the terms for this position, the chicken wing, uh, the bent elbow, the flying elbow. This is a very common thing that I've seen come across um, as an instructor that people have issues with. And what they're not getting out of this is extension. And that's really going to disable them from making a good rotation through, a good pivot off their trail foot through impact, and getting the most out of their ball striking. If that elbow is bending as we come through impact, well, there's two really big factors that are being affected. The first one is that, well, if the elbow is getting bent, what's that doing to the length of the club? Is it lengthening it or is it shortening it? Well, it's definitely gonna shorten it. If we look at that position, I go from straight, the club drops down to the ground, and I go to bent, the club rises up. So for those of you that top the ball, this is probably what's going on. So maybe take your phones, put it on slow mode, um, and record your swing from face on, and there's a good chance that you might see that that elbow is breaking down as you work your way through impact. What we want is extension. Now, as I go through extension, I'll swing towards the camera here. I'm gonna come in just a little bit closer. You'll see that for those of you that struggle with that elbow, that this lead arm not only is breaking at the elbow, but it's separating away from that pec, my, my forward pec. But if I get extension, you'll see that the spacing between my arms here, so the spacing between those forearms, the position that I am here with my bicep to that pec is nice and tight. And that is what's going to give me a nice delivery through impact. I'm going to get that extension. So I had mentioned that there were two factors that were affected. Okay, one, you get, you're getting short through it, and that's rising the club up in the air. Well, the major factor is that, think about the width of your swing, okay? Kind of put the picture in your mind, the distance that the golf head travels around your body. If I'm hitting full extension, look how far away that club is from my body. If I don't hit full extension and I get that breakdown in that elbow, I'm not getting that distance through. So I'm really affecting the arc of my swing and that's where we've got the control issue where you know ball striking is going to lessen if I break and I'm gonna lose a lot of distance if I'm not getting that full extension through impact. It's really going to have a couple of side effects what happens post impact and we don't need extra things going on after we hit the ball. We need to feel balanced fluid and smooth through our swing. And if you're breaking down as you come through, letting that left elbow rise, we're in trouble. So what I'm gonna get you to do is we're going to take a towel, we're going to drape it under our arms. Now this is similar to a video that I had showed on chipping, um, which we'll, we'll tag it below, that way you can jump in and look at it. So if you're struggling with chipping, we've got that video too. But as we're coming through impact, if I keep that bag tight underneath of the, the forward arm, I'm going to hit full extension. If I break down that elbow 
that bag or the towel is going to drop down my forward side and I'm going to lose extension. So what you'll do with this is let's start with just short range of motion. I'm not trying to take a big swing here. I'm just going back and through and I want to feel like I'm keeping that position as I come through impact well after I strike the ball that I'm keeping that nice and tight. I don't want to feel like this separates and takes away. And what you'll find, you'll start hitting more extension. The low point of your swing is going to be pushed more forward. Therefore, you're going to be striking the ball much better, more like Miller and a lot of the great ball strikers out there on tour. So. Uh